This is a tweet from Ali Abdelaziz after UFC 299. I've already said this in multiple videos. I don't want to see Dustin Poirier get the next title shot. And again, nobody is a bigger fan of the diamond than me. But I'm realistic on this channel. He does not deserve that fight. He just got slept by Justin Gaethje. Before that, he beat Michael Chandler, who was coming off a, a win. But before that, he was coming off multiple losses. He lost to Charles Oliveira for the UFC title, which was his second attempt. And he just hasn't done anything to deserve it. Charles Oliveira, he is fighting Armin Sarukian. They both beat <clears throat> Benil Dariush. Armin Sarukian is an up-and-comer, up-and-coming contender, who I think is going to beat most guys in this division. And I'm very high on him. So that fight is the number one contender fight. The idea of him stepping over those guys is just, no, I don't like it. Now, Ali Abdelaziz is talking about them fighting in June and suggesting that it would be after that, like around October, the time that Habib would fight, maybe November, that he would fight the winner of the of the Oliveira Sarukian fight. Which, by the way, I'm a bit surprised so many people are picking Oliveira to win that fight. I'm not saying he can't, but it's certainly not what I'm picking. And it's okay. Okay, I can see both me both sides here because. Poirier gets a chance, gets one more chance at gold, and the other contenders, they're not really being held up because they would need time to rest and heal up. I mean, the winner of that fight is not going to come out uh, ready to fight in a few months. No way. But what I just don't like about it is, aside from Poirier not deserving it, he's not winning that fight. Just point blank, I'll say it right now. Dustin Poirier is not beating Islam Makachev, aside from potentially landing a Hail Mary shot. He's literally got a puncher's chance and that's it. Because we just have to accept by now that Poirier does not have good defensive wrestling. He's extremely limited in that department. He's got a takedown defense and he jumps guillotines, which is suicide against a guy like Islam Makachev. And the fact that he's still doing it after all of these failed attempts, I mean, we give Dustin Poirier credit because he is a risk taker and he's a credit to the sport of MMA. Again, nobody is a bigger fan of him than me. Nobody appreciates what he's given to the sport more than me. But if he does that against Islam Makachev, it's suicide. And the way he got manhandled by Habib Nurmagomedov, it will just be worse against Makachev because Makachev has better stand-up than Habib's. I mean, his stand-up makes Habib Nurmagomedov's look amateurish. And that would be incredibly dangerous for Poirier because as soon as they get into an, any kind of exchange... Islam Makachev is going to duck down, shoot for the legs, and he's not going to stop Islam Makachev's takedowns. So you do the math on what's going to happen. I just don't want to see that fight. Um, Poirier, he can give so much more to the sport. There are better fights for him, and he, also he doesn't deserve it. Like, if he's going to fight for the belt again, at least wait for Makachev to possibly move up to welterweight. And I'm not again, I'm not picking him to beat guys like Armin Sarukin or Charles Oliveira again, but let's not beat around the bush. He would have a better opportunity against those guys than Makachev. Or maybe not um, Oliveira, but yeah. There, there's other fights out there for Dustin Poirier. So let me know what you guys think down below. I think Ali Abdelaziz, maybe he is paying respect to Dustin Poirier, but I think he actually just wants to get his man um, a fight that suits him stylistically, and it gets both of them paid. Let me know what you guys think. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more as always.